The ICAP-Q is a phenomenal mass spectrometer. Now, over the last couple of years, it's become a mainstay in routine applications throughout the world. But it is a very, very powerful instrument in terms of sensitivity and the ability to deal with interferences. And so it's finding uses in advanced applications, such as trace element speciation, where we will look at the chemical nature of the, of the metal in, in terms of a compound. For example, looking at arsenic speciation to determine the toxic and non-toxic species of arsenic that you might find in an environmental or clinical sample. Or indeed chromium speciation, where you might look again, look at for the carcinogenic forms of the chromium in maybe a drinking water sample, which is very topical these days. In addition, we find uses for the mass spectrometer in geochemical settings because of its sensitivity. A very, very simple five minute upgrade on the interface of this ICPMS doubles the sensitivity of the system. We can actually optimize the sensitivity of the system using collisional focusing with our collision cell to get upwards of a gigahertz sensitivity, which is particularly useful for people looking at very low abundant isotopes in geochemistry. In addition, this sensitivity can be harnessed when putting other accessories on the front end of the ICPMS. So for example, in the field of laser ablation ICPMS, there is no more sensitive system than the ICAP-Q. This allows geochemists to look at very, very small spots on their samples with their laser and still get very good reproducible data. So sensitivity is key with this mass spectrometer. Now, another major advantage that this system has over others is the collision cell technology that we utilize, the Q-cell. We use a quadrupole as our collision cell. So we pump a gas into the collision cell to dissociate and remove interferences. But also, unusually for a collision cell, our system has got the ability to work also as a mass filter. So we can filter out precursors to interferences to make the spectrum a whole lot cleaner and allow the collision cell work much more efficiently. Now, why is that unique? Well, unique among ICPMS systems, we have the ability to harness kinetic energy discrimination with a neutral collision gas while also doing mass discrimination. Other systems would need to use multiple different types of reactive gases and not be able to use kinetic energy discrimination at the same time. We harness the simplicity of a neutral gas with kinetic energy discrimination and mass filtration in one run. No other ICPMS is capable of doing that. Now, for the analyst, that means they don't have to learn about collision energies. They don't have to learn about reaction efficiencies of different reactive gases when they're trying to deal with interferences. It's literally just set and forget. The mass filter in the collision cell will filter out precursors, the helium neutral gas will collide with interferences and slow them down, and the kinetic energy discrimination will halt them and prevent them from being transmitted onto the analyzer quadrupole. So all in all, when you talk about sensitivity and interference removal, the ICAP-Q is the most powerful ICPMS available on the market today. If you want to learn more about the ICAP-Q and its capabilities, you can go to www.thermoscientific.com forward slash ICAP-Q.